I'm really not excited about the Pixel 3a or 3a XL. And you're going, Thunder E, you're nuts. Well, let's talk. So the Google Pixel 3a and 3a XL are going to be launching on May 7th. We know that rumors have been out for a long time. We've seen different leaks, but Brandon Lee at This Is Tech Today, I want to give him a big shout out. Go check out his video because he leaked and gave us a nice good look at the packaging of the 3a and 3a, uh, at least the 3a itself. Now, uh, check out his video, the link is down below, and he gives a lot of information in that video. Uh, the 3a will come in a color called purplish, is one of the color options, which is cool. We know from the packaging, it looks like a regular pixel, so it looks like a pixel three, in, in a sense, to me. Nothing special about it, so we still have the same boring hardware. That's my take on it. Um, we also know that from him, he says, look, the 3a will retail for 399, and the 3A XL will retail for about uh, 479 or 500 bucks. Let's just call it close to 500 anyway for this for this video. Now, in terms of sizing, 5.6 inch display is what we're hearing. But here's my thinking. I'm going. It's the same. And a lot of the reasonings for the Pixel 3 and the Pixel 3 XL was to set everything apart, and it just looks the same. And it means that look, I I'll just be honest here. This, this I'm spitballing. It looks like look. Google didn't sell a lot of pixels and uh, they have a lot of hardware inventory, not necessarily the same hardware, but parts and internals. And they're like, look, we can make a cheaper device, kind of like a Nexus, and we'll put it in this and we'll sell it for about 500 bucks and people will love it. And that might be true, but there's so many issues with the Pixel line that I have faced that I, I'm, I'm concerned that they haven't fixed. And we've seen a lot of them. I personally have gone through three Pixel 3 XLs because uh, of the hardware build. Now, it's supposed to be a water resistant device, the 3 and 3 XL, uh, except whenever we did our uh, camera uh, test with my buddy Mari Ansel, who's a professional photographer, and he goes kite surfing, he doesn't dip it in water, it splashes, it's died. All of all the devices we've taken out there, even the one plus six, which is not rated, survived splashes of water. Two of them did not. Now, my third Pixel 3 XL has camera issues, which is something a lot of people have experienced. My issue is very different. You take a photo, boom, cool, nice and dandy, takes a good photo. You try and take a second photo, camera don't work. You've got to restart the whole phone all over again for the camera to work, which is insane. Now, 9 to 5 Mac has a list of all these, uh, these issues with this device, and I'm going to link them for you in this, uh, this video so you can check them out. But there's a ton. The camera is one of the biggest ones. It's a slow camera app, especially for what the Pixel is supposed to give you that stock Android experience. Um, you know, people have uh, talked about how like the camera takes like a full up to 27 seconds just to take a photo. So many issues with the camera. Then there's poor memory management where the four gigs of RAM doesn't do its job well. Now devices are at eight. Uh, you know, some had 12, but the man RAM management is spotty, really spotty with this device. It kicks you out in some certain applications and that's something that's not cool. They've also talked about here, I'm looking at here, they've talked about Bluetooth problems on this device. It's something a lot of people have faced. Uh, the speaker, the speaker is not good. Um, it's loud, but it's also really tinny at the edge. I don't like the speaker. Then there's the fast wireless charging problem. Now, these are all the problems on the Pixel 3 and 3XL, not the 3A, but it's been six months and they haven't fixed that problem, right? And now they have a new device. And I feel that those problems will transfer over. And if rumors are true that the camera is the same camera as the Pixel 3 and 3 XL, I am happy and sad. Think about it. You're going to get really great pictures at a price where it might take you 12 to 27 seconds to take a photo or like me where my phone has to restart every time I take a photo. I don't want that. I don't want, now it does not gonna have wireless charging, which is fine because it's a cheaper device, but I have a feeling that the hardware build will still be the same because it looks the same and it looks like they haven't fixed those issues. So I might be, go through a couple of these devices again. And now some of you are going, hey, Thunder E, but it's 400 bucks, so it's, it's 399 and it's, it's 479. It's gonna be cheap, I don't care. That's all nice, well, and dandy, except, you know, if it dies because the build quality is not solid or a lot of the issues that 9 to 5 Mac is stating here that a lot of people are having, then you're going to end up with a device that you go, ah, 
And that's why I couldn't recommend the Pixel 3 or Pixel 3 XL last year. Plus the battery life, that was the biggest thing with those two devices. They have bigger batteries. These two are gonna have smaller batteries. I don't think it's gonna last me even half a day. That's where my problem is and that's why I'm not excited. I'm excited to have that camera technology, yes, but I'm excited to have a better device and not in the Pixel 3a or 3a XL because these are supposed to be lesser. And with rumors saying that it's gonna be a Snapdragon 670, I was hoping for the Snapdragon 730 that Qualcomm just announced, uh, but it's not even being gonna be there. And it's gonna still be four gigs of RAM. Doesn't leave me with a lot of hope. Anyway, guys, let me know what your thoughts is. Do you think that I am wrong? Are you super excited about the Pixel 3a and 3a XL? Do you think that all I said, like, doesn't matter. I'm paying $500 for this device, or I'm paying 400 bucks for this phone. I don't care, it would be great. Remember, there's a lot of competition out there. You know, there's like the Poco phones, there's the Redmi's, there's even OnePlus, again, at 500 bucks. That does really well and has more RAM and a lot of stuff in there. OnePlus 7's coming out too, around the corner, you know? So, leave your thoughts down below, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share this video, favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and once you do, hit the notification icon to get notified about our latest videos. It's Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy the entertainment.